Buongiorno. Buongiorno. C'è i tartufi? Tartufi non c'è. Ah, peccato. It's fall, the best season for mushrooms. Porcini, cremini, morels, and tartufo, or truffle. My buddy Marco is a truffle fanatic, so today I've invited him over for a special tartufo lunch. Buongiorno. Hai tartufi? Quelle freschi? No, fresco. Eh. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. I can't find truffles anywhere. Finiti ora. No. Davvero? Eh? Solo a San Mignato tu li trovi oggi. San Mignato? Sagra oggi. Sì. So there's a truffle festival at San Mignato no, today. Sì. Eh? sì. Va bene, a little bit of porcini and uh, yes. some mixed Buongiorno. mushrooms. So for sure, if I go to San Mignato, lots of truffles. Sì, lì tu li trovi. Sì. Sì, è tutto bello, sono patate. Ciao, grazie. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Posso comprare un po' di champignon? Sì. I came to the market for truffles and I'm leaving with champignon. <laughs> che figura. Italians love their food. So naturally they celebrate fresh ingredients with something called sagras or food festivals. There are sagras for wine, olive oil, cheese, chestnuts, and of course mushrooms. It's an opportunity for people to come together and usually the whole town gets involved. Oh, Chicho, Marco, Chicho, oh. Hey. Ciao, how Got good news and bad news. No, no, uh, no, 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 bad news, I couldn't find truffle, I couldn't find no. anywhere. Have you been upstairs? I was upstairs. Non ci sono. No. Good, but one? good news, we're going to San Mignato. San Mignato, hello! Hello! Oh. Eh. When I was little, yeah. no, no, Mario. My, no, Uncle Alfio, he ah, said Alfio, me, if you're a good boy, si. we go in the forest, we uh. catch that tufo with the dog. Mm. But it's well, okay, listen, we can I'm go, not we your can... Uncle Alfio, but we're going to go to San Mignato, we're going to eat tartufo, no. and we'll go hunting. No, first. Promise. Listen, I bought some uh, porcini, some funghi misti. No truffle. We'll go have, no, no truffle. We'll go have lunch at my place, then we'll That's go. Okay, cheers. Tu Anco Alfio. Tartufo. Tartufo. Al tartufo. Mmm, uh. porcini mushrooms are an absolute Italian favorite. And although they're no substitute for tartufi or truffles, they've been considered a delicacy since Roman times. This recipe is zuppa di porcini. These mushrooms are called porcini because here in Italy, Italians believe they look like little piglets, little porcellini, because they're round and pudgy, like piglets. Hmm, looks like a mushroom to me. Porcini soup is really delicate and simple to prepare. If you can use fresh porcini, it makes all the difference. With a paring knife, you scrape off some of the dirt, and grab a dry dishcloth, and do the same thing for the caps cut off the ends. And porcinis are available all year round in Italy. Cut everything up into little strips so they fit nicely on your spoon. Because of the wonderful flavor and aroma of the porcini, this is one of those dishes that you don't have to start off with onions and garlic, no. The porcini will do all the work. A Little bit of butter and some olive oil. And a fresh herb that works really well with porcini is nipitella. In fact, when you go buy your porcini, your vegetable guy will generally throw in fresh nipitella, which is grown wild in Tuscany. That's a combination of mint and oregano. Of course, if you can't find nipitella, just add mint and oregano. All the porcini goes right into the pot. Mix it around. Once the porcini has absorbed all the olive oil and the butter and the great nipitella flavor, add a little bit of vegetable broth. And this will prevent the porcini from sticking. A 
little bit of salt and pepper. And you'll start seeing your porcini almost become nice and soft and start getting a little thick sauce. Add just enough vegetable broth so your porcini are fully covered. Bring to a boil and then just simmer for about a half hour. Freshly grated parmigiano cheese. And lastly, one egg. Work really quickly, stir it around. And that will break up the egg. And you see little strips of cooked egg that thickens up the soup. That must be Marco. Soup's almost ready, just gonna let it simmer now. Truffle I said we're going to go to Savignato for the Sagre di Tartufo, you know, the truffle festival. Yeah, okay, but you told me we go to the forest for truffle and I said because you're Ziaf. You used to say it. But yeah. Okay, but what are we eating? We're having funghi misti and puccini soup. Bon, bon, bon. Okay. It's no same. It's not truffles, but all right. va bene, no. All right. Marco, if you can set the table, you know yeah. where everything is? We're going to finish up lunch. Okay. Uh, Chia Chia, you look ridiculous. Mushrooms are key ingredients in so many Italian recipes. It's the fall, and there are so many different types of mushrooms you can mix together. This recipe is called tacchino con funghi misti, or turkey with mixed mushrooms. Hopefully Marco won't be too disappointed with the fact that I wasn't able to find truffles. So I figured I would mix up different types of mushrooms. And here I have some champignon or button mushrooms, some ovali, and back home they're called Caesar's mushrooms. They're fairly rare, expensive, and they're shaped kind of like egg yolks, some regular field mushrooms, and these are chiodini mushrooms, which literally means little nails, also in English known as honey fungus. Then I have oyster mushrooms, and of course, the king of mushrooms, porcini. A good tip when you're cleaning mushrooms, don't wash your mushrooms, they tend to absorb the water, just like a sponge. With my champignon, I like to just peel away the first layer of skin. Loosely chop up all your mushrooms. When a recipe calls for fungi misti, good idea is to maybe buy a few extra champignon, you know, less expensive button mushrooms, next to the porcini or the oyster. They become a lot more fancier. I'm just gonna fry up all these mushrooms in olive oil and onions. It's gonna taste oh so good on top of the tacchino. Start off by heating up some extra virgin olive oil. A little bit for your mixed fungi and some for your tacchino. Fortunately, this recipe, a lot of the ingredients are the same because there's a lot of multitasking. Some finely chopped white onion and some for the turkey. A little bit of salt and some fresh black pepper. And now for your fungi. The onions are getting nice and translucent. Mushrooms are a funny ingredient. If your pan looks dry, don't worry about it. The mushrooms will sweat, release water, and you don't have to add more oil. And once your turkey is getting nice and brown on one side, just flip it over. Pretty straightforward. And a little bit of salt. Now some white wine. Let that reduce or thicken up and become a nice sweet sauce. When you see your mushrooms are wilting and getting really soft, just add a little bit of white wine. Let that reduce. And my turkey is done. Put it aside. 
and continue cooking the mushrooms. Add a little bit of finely chopped parsley. And then I sprinkle a little more on top of the tacchino just before serving. This mushroom sauce is great for any type of meat. It can even work well with little crostinis. Toast some bread and just put it on. It's exactly the same process. There you have it. Tacchino with mixed fungi. And Marco wanted truffles. <laughs> Allora, Marco, no zuppa di porcini. Oh. What's this? You like it? You like it? What's this? Uh, are you hinting? Yeah. Came forest? The forest. Yeah. yeah. Do you really no. want to go truffle hunting? Smell porcini. Okay. Uh, try this porcini soup. No truffle. Yeah, no truffle. <laughs> oh, porcini's not bad. Okay, Marco, try some tacchino. Oh, no. Fumi misti. So what's with that toothbrush? Imagine this is a truffle. Yeah. You can clean very slowly like this. You have to say very careful because, for example, if you lose two grams, right, you can lose a millions. Yeah, no, it does not. <laughs> Fifteen euro. Could you imagine if we found a truffle like this? We'd be rich. You know, it's costume. It's like diamond. Ah, uh, diamonds. Come on, Marco. No, the white one, you're right, is called diamonds. Exactly. But the black one's called exactly. black truffle. No, because no. this is the black. Yeah, no, no, now you're getting me all confused, yes. Marco. Okay, let's go to Carlo. We ask about Let's please. go to Carlo. Carlo will set us Carlo straight because everything. he's the prince yeah, of the, the truffle. truffle. See, yeah. Is he Carlo? I thought the truffles would get the market for sure. Sure. Yeah. He, he come back from San Miguel. Yeah, I know, but you know, Kippen's out of black car. Hey, hey, hey. you. Mark, could not find it. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, Carlo. Oh, oh, Carlo. Oh, we want to know the difference between black and white truffles. Explain to him. Well, the, the black truffle is a famous in the, all of the world. Sure. But it's not precious. This is a much precious because uh, you found it just uh, in this season and uh, the prices are very mm -hmm. high. It's so fragrant. Yeah, this is a one explosion of fragrance. It must be an explosion in your mouth. Right, it's uh, a very explosion of it. What's in your pocket? <laughs> yeah, what's in your pocket? <laughs> and questo quanto costa? How much is this? And 4,000 a kilo. 4,000 euros one. a kilo. We Mamma started from 3,000 for cattle. And 4, the black? And the black is 700, 800. It's more like you, eh? Continue. <laughs> <laughs> and to clean them? Well, the simple, with a little brush a little like brush. that. Not uh, Cantini's toothbrush here. For tents, exactly. Si, si, si. Si, anche, si. Exactly, my person, my Zio Alfio. Oh, yeah. okay. And the very cold, fine water, right. you brush like ah, Cold water, Chicho. Yeah. Very, 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 very fine. A little bit of cold water, water. Yeah. okay. Yeah, very fine. Very little water. cold, okay. because it's a humid, the brush. Ah, and okay. you clean it, and they have a need And that just gets rid of some of the grit and dirt. Right. Not, right. not the truffle. Oh, no, <laughs> not the truffle, no. Dry right. really with well. The, with the paper, with the Scott paper. Scott and how long does it last for? Oh, 15 days, 20, 20 days, day, yeah. Days, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Sure, inviting this guy over for lunch will last one hour. One hour, sure. So, so, so. so. <laughs> you know what? We're going to San Mignato now. Uh, oh, yes, this oh, weekend no. is yeah. a very nice, uh, yeah. yeah. Sagra di Tartufo. Oh, look. This is a picture of San Mignato. Uh, San Mignato. Oh, Ciccio. San Mignato. Uh, this is a San Mignato head. <sighs> I home. I feel like home. Oh, Ciccio, this, the is, truffle this is the city. This is the right Are you city. emotional? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, Marco, what do you think of San Mignato and the Truffle Festival? Yeah, I like, I like, but I want to hunt. I want to find my... My truffle, my own truffle. Where is it?
like about this is no truffle. Salami with porcini in there. It's okay, buy one truffle. Look at me. Truffle. Truffle. I don't know why you can't just enjoy the, the Sagra Fest of San Mignano. I had everything about truffle, cheese, okay, uh, so salami, but I want a hunting truffle. You want a hunt truffle? Where? Where are you going to hunt truffle? We have a San Mignano everywhere. Where am I going to find a forest for you to hunt truffle? Yeah, I have a friend. See your friends. Yeah. Let's say Pazzo. Let's go check out those truffle stands no, no, up there. No, 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 no. Now I go to catch my own truffle. I see. See you later. Ciao. This is a diamond. Mamma mia. One of the great things of coming to a truffle saga is that you have all these stands with different types of products. Crema di tartufo, which is a cream with truffle. Sheep's milk cheese with black truffle. They have different grades of tartufo, tartufo bianco, and of course, black truffle. And they even have pasta with truffle. Ciao, ciao, tutti. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Grazie. Ciao. I was told that if I popped in, I might get a recipe or two from you. Of course, using tartufo. Vero? Si. What recipe are you going to show me? Facciamo tagliolini al tartufo bianco di San Mignano. Buono. So this recipe is tagliolini al tartufo bianco di San Mignano di Marzia. Okay, the first thing, of course, is fresh egg tagliolini. And of course, they're fresca, fresh. I fatto oggi. Si. Marzi, of course, made them today. This is just butter with parmigiano, freshly grated parmigiano, and grated white truffle from San Mignato. And it's all mixed in. And it's like a... Okay, so it's just a flavored butter with all those great ingredients. E alla fine, si. prima di portare in tavola, okay. si mette il tartufo fresco. And then just before serving it, you actually just grate some fresh white truffle right on top. Mmm, è possibile that three ingredients can make such an incredible dish. Si, si. certo. Eh. certo. <laughs> Facciamo i tagliolini? Si, andiamo. <laughs> Poor Marco. He wanted to go look for truffles. It was right here. Dai, Nerina. Nerina, brava, brava, brava. Pili cane, pili cane, vieni con me. Prendi il cane, pili cane, pili cane. Vieni, 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 vieni. Ora si va davvero a cercare tartufi. Andiamo. Vieni, vieni, vieni. Va, si faccio vedere, c'è un amico qua su, te lo presento, bravo. Dopo si va, ora si dovrebbe sbeccare un amico. Ah, sì? Oh, Marco, where are you going? Let's go, let's go. No, where? No, I found this right man. This is Gian Piero. Ciao, ciao. It's a truffle answer. There's tons of truffles no, in here. No, 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 no. Let's Come on, go. we gotta go let's into a go, forest. Let's go to the forest. Hey, but we're here at a Look, Sagra. A lot Lerina, of truffles. Lerina, she's a dog. Mark, that doesn't make sense. Truffle. We're in a, a Sagra and we're gonna go truffle no. hunting. No, no, no. Jump down, Gian Piero. Jump down. Jump down. Jump down. Jump down. Sagra was good. Yeah, but now I'm very good. I'm very, I'm very happy. You're very happy now. Yeah, I yeah, see. yeah, yeah. I found Jean truffles. Piero uh, and his dog. So we're gonna find truffles? We can sell them to Carlo. 4,000 euros a kilo. No, think of it. Let's go fill up this basket. Bet me trapo a day. He keeps the doctor away. I'm going to go. It's a big one. Is it like mine? Oh, no, huh? Not like yours. False alarm, Chicho. David, David, look! No! This is it. 
doesn't look like very much, but it's a truffle, a white diamond truffle. It's one of the most exquisite tastes in the world. Because the conditions have to be perfect, they're very, very rare. I had Chicho. The Sagda was fun. But uh, this hunting, eh, didn't do too well. And in the end, we found a tiny, big, small truffle. Small, small. Oh, Chicho, important is not the size. Is that how you use it? Eh, uh, see, uh, how you, you use it. I mean? uh, uh, but when size. it comes to a truffle, the size is important, Chicho. No, eh, no so much. Uh, uh, doesn't matter the size. Size does count when it comes to truffle.